Cannonball! Oh, shit. I thought that was the water. Whoops. My bad. Hey everyone, what's going on? It's uh, Cloud from Black Cloud Gaming. What's happening? I know I've been away for a while. I have not made um, any videos yet. I know I don't make a bunch of videos. Ooh, what's this? Take a weapon. I don't know what this does. And I don't care. Oh. It's apparently a gas thing. Anyway. I am here to bring you my build for my guardian. They have recently made some changes to all of the traits. Uh, well, not all of them. They made some. It's a new... Uh, builds available, etc., uh, etc. Et um, so this is just going to be my point of view. Oh, not my point of view. Uh, my build for my Guardian. I have here, it's quite the hybrid, if I might say. It is a mix between the Burning Guardian and a Meditation Guardian. Um, for those of you who do not know, Burning Guardian is going to mainly focus on, well, obviously, their burning. Uh, for the burning, you would have to be using meditations. Mainly, people would use Judge's Intervention, teleport your target, and burn nearby foes. Um, or, hell, people would probably use Purging Flames, which is a concentration. Um, you would obviously use your Virtue of Justice, etc., etc. Um, most would probably resort to their on their weapon, the Superior Sigil of Fire, which gave you 30... 30% chance of critical, oh, I'm sorry, let me rephrase that, 30% chance on a critical, you will trigger a flame blast for an AoE damage, meaning as such, whenever you crit, you will have a 30% chance on that crit to do a flame blast AoE. Well, that's pretty simple. Anyway, we're going to get back to that. So, pretty much what I've built here is my own version of a Dragon Knight. I had to give it a cool name because Medi Guardian and Burning Guardian just seemed very, you know, boring, you know, just near the site. Whatever. So, we got here my version of the Dragon Knight. A lot of you guys are wondering, I am rocking the Flame Legion armor because I think it would go well with my build, just in my opinion. I know it's not finished yet. Shut up. Don't judge me. Anyway, going back to this. Burning Gar well, Okay. Ugh. Oof. Dragon Knight. I'm going to try to stick with that name so it's a little bit easier. My Dragon Knight Guardian build, whatever, is going to mainly consist of meditations. Why meditations? Well, because he's going to be... His damage is going to be mainly precision of crits. It may sound weird... This, like I said, this is just my version. This is my opinion. This is how I wanted to build it. I have here 38% into precision for a critical chance. Now, that's not finished yet. I am not done building him. He's he's in the process, but I'm, he, he's just about there. So, I have a 38% current critical chance. And with that, as you can see, the Ghastly Great Sword of Fire. I have the Superior Sigil of Fire here for the 30% chance of critical for the Trigger Flame Blast for an AoE. Yes, that was a lot. So, I have to say, this is a very, 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 very fun build for me. I've seen people do their own versions of, you know, the brick wall or the glass cannon or autistic healing, and I did not like either of them. All of them were too boring, they, they had no excitement, and for this, I, I find it's extremely fun. So we're just going to get straight into it, I don't want to stay and bore you guys too much. Oh, the trades, we're going to go 10, 25, 30, 0, 5, okay? 10 for zeal. You, it's really not much you need for this. The only reason you want it is um, don't really care much for the zealot speed. We're not going to worry about too much of that. I mainly took it for fiery wrath. Increased damage by 10% against burning foes. Now, this here is not particularly mandatory. Um, this is more if you're going to be going towards that... Uh, that, that burning side, like I said, with the Judge's Intervention or the Purging Flames, if you want to go towards that, this will greatly increase your damage. damage. Um, I do this mainly for when I do my crit and I get that Flame Blast AoE, it's going to help me pack a much harder punch. Like I said, this is just all based off my 
my version, my opinion. So shut up and leave me alone. Let me finish. Okay, 25 in the radiance. Okay, you're gonna like that justice is blind when acting to be in virtue. Justice nearby foes are blinded. Yeah, whatever. I don't care much for that. So now we're gonna get into this. Okay, searing flames. When you apply burning to a, a foe, remove a boon. This effect can trigger once every 20 seconds. This is mainly good for if you're in PvP. When you are burning your enemies, you are removing their boons. When you apply a burning to an NFO, remove a boon. Oh, it can also apply maybe in PvE as well. Yet you remove a boon, and it this can trigger every 20 seconds. So if you get one of those nasty mobs or players in World View World or PvP that are just, they love them boons, you can get rid of it with searing flames. Um... Renewed Justice, if I recall, that's your F1. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Virtue of Justice is renewed when you kill a foe. That is crucial. You will find yourself using your F1, your... I can't name off the top of my head, excuse me. Virtue of Justice, you will find yourself using that a lot more frequently with this build because of this little nice perk here. I find myself using my Virtue of Justice a lot more than I used to with this. Um, it helps give you that little extra kick. Next, we're going to go into Shimmering Defense. Burn nearby foes for 7 seconds when your health reaches 25%. The cooldown on it is 60 seconds. It is nice when you're in the, in the middle of, of a fight and you, you're, you're doing awesome and you're, you know, you're fighting this guy and then, you know, or, or whatever, you know, and then you guys are just get each other low and then, you know, somehow he kills you or whatever. I don't know. That's kind of a stupid scenario. But let's just say you guys are both low health, whatever, etc. And you almost had him. Maybe this little shimmering defense could have burned him to death and made it save you. Who knows? I don't know. I just find this to be very useful. It helps also give it that little extra kick as well when you're when you're low in health and you're trying to survive, etc. Whatever. I could probably provide a more explanation for that, but I don't want to. Uh, radiant power. Deal more damage to flow foes inflicted with conditions. Again, this is going to go back to your burning. Burning is a form of conditions. You will be dealing more damage with burning. Deal more damage to foes inflicted with conditions. Stack that up with your 10% against burning foes. Apply your wrath. And you got yourself a nice little spicy kick. 30 into Valor. You don't want to be too squishy when you're going into fights. Uh, that's going to be kind of hard. I will explain a little bit of that later. Whatever. Uh, we obviously know Valor's defense. Gain ages when your health reaches 50%. Pretty useful. We know that. I'm not going to get to that. Uh, meditation Mastery. Meditations recharge 20% faster. Now, me personally, I find myself in dire need of my meditations. I rely on my meditations, and you're definitely going to want to use them. You're definitely going to want to keep them up. You're going to want to have them around. They're going to save your life in more ways than one. Next, we got the Courageous Return. Virtue of Courage is recharged when you rally. Virtue of Courage, if I remember, was for your Aegis. Virtue of Courage. Obviously, duh, why did I forget that? Um, yeah, we're not going to do that. We know what that is. Retrib retributive Armor. Excuse me. 5% of toughness is given as a bonus to precision. This I found to be extremely useful. I have this stuck in here. Now, my apprehension was that it's going to take 5% away from my toughness. Well, actually, no, it's not. Let me explain it. Let's see. We have 38% of the toughness and 3.85 into toughness. That's not finished yet. Don't judge me. So we're going to just switch this around to another thing. And burn attack is unblocking, blah, blah, blah. So what did it drop to? 34% and my toughness did not change. That was my apprehension when I would take that skill. You're giving yourself an extra 4% for your precision, believe it or not, 4% can make a hell of a difference. Especially when you are going to, well, not rely on your crits, but when you are going to use them a lot for your damage. Now, where the hell was it right here? 5% toughness is given. It's, oh, there we go. Next up, we have Might of Protector. Game Might when you block attacks. Blah, we know what that does. Um, next here, this right here is going to be your ace in the hole. Your all-time favorite trait you are going to want to have when you're using this hybrid of the Burning and Meditation Guardian, a.k.a. my version of the Dragon Knight. Monk's Focus, using a meditation skill, heals you. This is a fucking lifesaver. Because let me show you a little something here, what I have. I have Smite Condition. Cure Condition and damage nearby foes. More damage if a condition is cured, okay? This is situational and optional. You do not have to take it. But... 
I am running a clean guardian here, meaning I do not want to be spammed with, you know, conditions. Conditions can be nasty, they can be a pain in the ass, they can be annoying, they can really ruin someone's day. When you are running a clean guardian, when you have smite condition and contemplation of pure purity, you are keeping yourself out of condition territory. Not permanently, of course, but it's really going to help you retaliate against your enemies a little bit quicker than others. Smite condition is really going to give you that little, just a little extra push and a little extra damage. Just not too good. Now, here's what we're going to go with. So, we got the monk's focus. Now, I did my little experiments. I've, I've noticed smite condition is going to give you back 10% of your health that you've lost. So, 10% health back, that's not a lot, but it's enough to save you. Like I said, you might be one of those scenarios where it's like, Life or death, and you and your enemy are almost dead, and you got each other just a little pinch of health, and you both could just kill each other, but somehow he gets a miracle hit on you, and you missed out on 10% health that could have saved your ass, and you could have killed him. So my condition will be there for you. I do not want to overlook merciful intervention. This <clears throat> has got to be one of my other favorite meditations. I will not get rid of this one for reasons that's healing. So we're gonna get it. Okay. Merciful intervention. Teleport to the nearest ally with the lowest health and create a healing area. I should have said aura in my opinion. Around them. So merciful intervention. You are going to give yourself a nice little teleportation. I wonder if we can show this demonstration. Unfortunately there's one little tiny flaw about merciful intervention is that you it's randomized. You cannot pick who you want to teleport to. So if you see a, 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 a friend of yours low in health, you can't say, oh, I'm going to go heal him with my merciful intervention, keep him alive. It's, it's very situational. So this might be a good rate. Let me see if I can use it. Teleport me to him. It did not. Okay, that was weird. Okay, then. So yeah, anyway, that was merciful intervention. Um, getting back into that, like I said, that was... Uh, merciful intervention will heal you for a, a, a very fairly amount of health. Now... There are two ways that it can heal you between 30 to 40%. The 30% will just be if you use it alone and there's no one around, you're by yourself, and there's no no allies, no teammates, and use merciful intervention and you don't teleport to someone. Well, I did to that guy. But like I said, it's randomized. But if there's no one around and you use it, it's going to just heal you. And for some reason, I find that it heals more when you actually teleport to an ally and you heal them with that aura. That will give you that 40% extra health. Now, here is my best friend, Contemplation of Purity. I'm trying to move this quick. I don't want to sit around and be, you know, too boring with this. Anyway, Contemplation of Purity. Convert the conditions you are suffering from into boons. Ladies and gentlemen, you could have every single condition on you in the game. You could have... You could have the knockdown. You can be stunned, poisoned. You can be... Days confused, you can be burning, you can be poisoned, I don't know if I said that, whatever, anything. Contemplation of purity will save you. It's going to get rid of all the conditions you are suffering from and turn them into the opposite of the boons. Whatever that opposite will be, it will heal you. If you're suffering from de de degenerative health, if you're degenerating, you will get... um. You will get regeneration. If you are suffering from movement and parry speed, you will get a movement boost, etc., etc. It will be the complete operative, and you'll basically be a god or something for X amount of... I don't know. But on top of that, it also breaks stun. The cooldown for this is about 47 seconds. Cooldown for Merciful Intervention. We have 39 seconds in smite condition for... 15 seconds. You really want to plan out how you use these. You don't want to spam them. You want to make sure you, you use them carefully. This is going to be a very clean guardian build you're going to be playing. Well, what about when you've already used it and you get conditions on you can? Well, yeah, duh, that's going to happen. But if you know how to play well and you know how to use these abilities and you know how to time them well, you can really keep yourself alive. You have yourself five ways of healing yourself. You have your virtue of resolve. You have your signet of resolve. Smite condition, merciful intervention, and contemplation of purity. 
I know there's other meditations, but pretty much you have five ways to heal yourself because of, the, of these five slots. And if you have that skill in the Grandmaster Monk's focus, you're really going to have a lot of ways to heal yourself and keep yourself alive. Now, this build might seem a bit selfish because it focuses more on itself and it's not too supportive and it doesn't really help out its other people much. But it's really more for those who are solo and like doing their own thing. Now, we all know, obviously, the precision and the crits and the, the, the sigil of fire. I'm not going to get too much into that. But basically, we know Guardians don't have a lot of damage overall. Unless they really want to go into the Glass Cannon build, etc. But in my opinion, they're not as effective as a Warrior or etc. In my opinion, I've been really getting the most out of my damage from my crits and my Flame Blast AoE. You'll be surprised, even though it's only a 30% chance on your own critical, you'll be surprised how often you will crit and how often that flame blast will come up. Now, note to self, look at the cooldown. Cooldown, five seconds. Five seconds, and then it's up again. That, to me, is fucking glorious. I love it. You are critting, like, I don't know, maybe nine out of every 10 out of 20, 20 attacks. I don't know. I don't know the fucking math. Um... So yeah, this is the build here. Uh, we obviously know what these virtues do. Five of the virtues. Every guardian, most every guardian does it. I'm not going to get into that. I just, this is my version. I just wanted to share it with you with you guys. Uh, this is, this is just how I play it. And the thing about this particular build too, you don't want to stand around too long. Because I'll admit, you're not, you don't have a lot of health as much as, probably most other guardians or warriors out there you're not you you can take a hit but you don't want to take it too much you really want to keep yourself moving as much as you can and hence why i would like to use the great sword now i use i use this more i don't know it's a, uh, terrible just terrible awful anyway like i said keep yourself moving you want to really you know judge the time of your dodges you really want to you know move around you don't want to stay still you want to keep the enemy guessing if i can say you know it might seem a little bit weird anyway that's my version of this new bill what the hell happened to my clouds but anyway again here it is 10 25 30 zero, 5. this is what you're going to want to go with i to be honest i'm still kind of messing around with this i'm still kind of tweaking it and i'm still doing my own thing but i just want to share with you guys because of the new builds that they have going and you know everybody's doing their own thing with their with their known classes and all that stuff and people are just kind of messing around with their own own builds and you know this there's, there's you know everybody's discovering new things and doing their own stuff and i i just wanted to share this with you guys you know and i, I just wanted to know your opinion and what you guys think and how what's your version of the dragon knight uh, that's my name, actually. Don't don't t don't steal it. Um, but like I said, you got to keep a clean guardian with those utilities of the meditation. The meditation will really heal you. My suggestion: keep that merciful intervention and the contemplation of purity. You do not have to keep the smite condition. It is situational. Most people would probably prefer the judge's intervention um, for the extra burning. But I keep the smite condition for that clean guardian state um well again sound like a broken record here man anyways thanks for sticking around guys and listening to this video uh i know it wasn't ex exceptionally great Ooh. but anyway um let me know what you guys think let me know what your builds are i'm just just testing this out like i said I'm just i'm still making some tweaking adjustments to it but so far i like this build it's a clean guardian meditation burning dragonite fire see you later Ugh.